Hey everyone, in this video we're going to do a bunch of problems where we express a trig function in terms of its co-function. So it's actually pretty simple, um, and if you think of the word co-function, you should be able to do these relatively easily without having to think um, too much about memorizing things. So think about cotangent, right? So cotangent is the co-function for tangent. This is in degrees, so it's always going to be equal to tangent, and then it's since it's in degrees, it's always 90, and then it's minus whatever you see here, so minus 70. Okay, so again, it's cotangent, so its cofunction is tangent, and because it's in degrees, you put a 90 here, and then you just subtract this, okay? If it was in radians, you'd put a pi over 2 here. So it's always that first, and then minus that angle. So in this case, it'll be tangent of 20 degrees. Let's do another one until you get it. Just keep doing, there's a bunch of these. So if you can do all of these, you got this. So secant, its cofunction is cosecant. So we put cosecant here. And it's in degrees, so you do 90. And then you subtract, and then you put a 40. Okay, so this will be equal to cosecant of 50 degrees. Boom, that's how pros do it, right? Super awesome. Sine, its cofunction is cosine. So this is equal to Cosine, it's in degrees, so you put a 90, and you subtract the 20. So 90 minus 20 is 70 degrees. So this is cosine of 70 degrees. Boom. Cosine, its cofunction is sine, right? So this is sine of 90 degrees minus 10 degrees. So it's equal to sine of 80 degrees. Let's recap all of these one more time. So cotangent, its cofunction is tangent. So it's 90 minus the angle. Notice it's always 90 minus the angle, 90 minus the angle, 90 minus the angle, 90 minus the angle. And then and then its cofunction is tangent, its cofunction is cosecant, its cofunction is cosine, its cofunction is sine. Tangent, we know its cofunction is cotangent. Except this time, there's no degree symbol. So we have to assume that these are in radians. All of these are in radians. This will be pi over 2 minus 1 third. And you can just stop here. Most people are okay with this, right? Like, that should be good. Usually you don't have to combine this stuff. This one, its cofunction is secant. So this is equal to secant pi over 2 minus 1. And you just leave it like that, right? Don't worry about simplifying it. Same thing here, right? Its cofunction is tangent. This is tangent, pi over 2, minus 0.2. Same thing, just leave it like that. Its cofunction is cosine, it's pi over 2, minus 1 half. So we did eight of these, right? If you could do this, you can do anything, right? So you've got this. So I hope this video has been helpful in some way to someone out there in the world. Until next time, take care.